It's Halloween. So excited to be here today with you guys. Flakies, I just think it looks magical. I just tap it off and there you go. Whew. I just look like fairy dust threw up on me. <laughs> Hi everyone, it's Tiana from Maniology. Hello. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to recreate a manicure that I had done. Let me just show you what I'm talking about. So a few weeks ago I had created this manicure. And um, it's a cute little bat manicure, really simple. I love simple manicures. Something that you know has a really basic base. Um, and that looks chic, that definitely works for me. Um, the other thing about this is that like the focal point is the flakies that I'm gonna show you how to use today. And if you can see this picture, you'll just see how blue and pink it comes out. I actually have the pot here. So this is Illusion. This is the, the flakies I'm gonna be using and I did use in my manicure, but it comes off so blue. I see even like hints of purple. And the name Illusion is just perfect because it looks nothing like what it looks in the pot. Nothing at all. Um, it really comes out like fiery looking. Um, actually, I recreated the manicure. Now you're gonna notice that I did um, a little bit different bat design from what I just showed you on Instagram. And the reason for that is because in that manicure that I had done on my own nails, I was using a uh, Manny by Me plate from a previous like Halloween release. And Manny by Me is an exclusive plate set that's not released to the public. So if you're a subscriber, awesome. But if you're not, then that means that you can't recreate the design. So I wanted to do something that, you know, everyone could achieve. And I'm still using a really, really cute bat design. After doing this, I kind of wish I did this design because I like how much space you can really see the flakies. And let me see if I can kind of tilt. I'm not even sure you guys can see how fiery this thing is. It's so pretty. But anyway, I'm gonna show you guys how to re recreate this. And I'm gonna give you two options. So maybe you have these plates, maybe it's on the way, because we just released um, one of these plates recently. Um, but I'm gonna give you two options, and I'm gonna show you what it kinda looks like. So for me, like I said, the focal point was the illusions flakies. I really wanted that to show through in the manicure itself. So one option is using M151 and there's this bat manicure here. Although I didn't use the flakies, you can see how full the design is. So I was like, ah, oh, you know, maybe I don't want something that full. So instead for this design, I ended up going with plate uh, M157, which is this design right here. So it's like, it was just perfect. And it's Halloween. You, you really don't understand how excited I am. Okay, so let's get started. Let me move some things out of the way. Let me get situated here. So today, I'm not gonna focus on showing you how to paint a black tip. You know, I just use basically our straight up black polish for that. And, um, you know, we oftentimes get, uh, get questions about using our stamping polish as regular polish. And in general, yes, you can use our stamping polishes as regular polishes. They are thicker, they're more opaque. That usually means that you only need one coat. So there's a plus. Um, always use your a base coat, especially with darker colors, to help avoid staining. Some people can avoid it, but um, that would definitely be a recommendation here. So some other things I'm going to be using today for the bats is a sticky base coat and also smudge free. I just love how simple this manicure is. So, okay. 
I'm using a really like a cream colored tip and it's just so you know I also have clear but I really wanted to kind of show I don't know maybe it's just nicer you guys don't see the background and stuff but just pretend that you put over your favorite base coat for now let me start with the sticky base coat and move some things on the side it's, it's gonna get messy and flaky and very fairy like up in here because the flakies are very very um, kind of messy but I don't mind it let me just kind of open up some things here that's my stamper I'm using the gummy stamper and, and you're gonna see why I decided to use this um, I love using the gummy stamper to kind of flatten out the flakies and stuff and this is actually what I'm going to use to put the flakies on okay so I'm just using my sticky base coat and let me just coat the top of the nail okay while that's drying I'm just gonna go let me see oh static is already pulling up the flakies I'm just trying to shake off the excess because this is what happens so I did it that way there's so many different ways you can get the flakies onto the stamper um, I did it that way because I don't know if you can even see all the glitter I just look like fairy dust threw up on me <laughs> So I just think that that's probably one of the cleaner methods. So however you decide to do it, if you want to take a finger and you want to rub it onto the stamper, if you want to use the um, makeup applicator and like dip it inside your pot and then rub it onto your stamper, or if you want to just take the applicator that has the flakies. So let's just assume, you know, I'm scraping off all these, the excess here and you want to rub that onto the tip, you can also do that. There's no right or wrong way to do it. This is just the way that I chose to do it. So it's a matter of just preference. Okay. So with the sticky base coat, I would say, you know, depending on how heavy you put it, maybe about 45 to uh, 45 sec seconds to a minute. That should be good enough for it to be tacky. Oh shoot, I think I waited way too long. This is way too dry, but that's a really good example because really, especially when it's like that, all you do is just put on another layer. Sorry, too much talking in between. That's okay, I'm talking to you guys. Okay, so let's wait, but not wait too long. <laughs> I wonder if I can get away with doing two. Let's see, if not, I'll just paint the sticky over again. No biggie. Okay, still looks shiny, tacky. Okay, so let's do it. So I'm just gonna um, actually press the tip into the stamper just so you can kind of see what I'm doing. So there, just like that. And there you go. So I kind of just use the stamper to kind of firmly place any of the flakies. And I don't know if you can kind of see how pokey the surface still is. So I just like to lightly push it down. At this point, the tip feels really smooth. So you don't have to worry about any tackiness coming off of the sticky base coat. This is not going anywhere, okay? And I also wanted to make a mention since I just remembered right now. Okay, sorry. This one should be good, so let's do this one as well. Should have enough powder left over because there's actually a lot. There you go. Yay, I was able to do two. Okay, so now let's see if the light can, because to me in the camera, it still looks kind of pinky and that's definitely not how it looks. But you see it has like that fieriness. You see where the light is kind of hitting it? It's so beautiful. Do you have to use a sticky base coat in order to use the glitter? Um, 
I definitely would recommend it and I think it just helps with the adhering factor but the reason why I'm using it too is because I'm going to be stamping over these designs so you know it's just kind of like a I don't know I feel like it just gives added security so I guess the short answer would be yes because that's what I'm recommending um, and dab it kind of shake it and there you go the aftermath is kind of crazy when you're flipping it over and there's like flakies everywhere but it's okay okay perfect so let's do this process again so I'm just gonna push the tip right into the stamper so it gets all those beautiful illusion flakies then also it helps to push in the flakies to make them flat as well. There you go. Perfect. So now I have three tips down. This, you're probably wondering how to clean it. So all I have here is my sticky stamper station. If you don't have this, helpful little thing. Don't worry if you have a sticker lint roller or if you have scotch tape, um, then just go ahead and pretty much just do the same, the same technique. It's just the tape is taking it off the surface, but it really gets kind of embedded in there. So just do it a couple of times. Okay, I still see some on top, but you know, right now it's, it's not really a big issue. So there's that. What's your guys' um, favorite, I guess, Halloween theme to, to stamp? I don't know. This season, I'm definitely feeling bats. I'm feeling batty. Maybe it's the pandemic. I'm not sure. But bats is, is where it's at right now. So let's put our straight up black onto the plate. And then you'll also notice that I'm not doing the um, the whole design in, I'm not covering in black. And the reason for that is because I just scrape it off. Um, so the rest of the design does get the black. So I feel like maybe I'm not wasting polish. So let's place the design in there. Oh, I feel like you can really see the fieriness just like that. Okay. And there's one design done. Let me clean off my stamper. Okay. So now let's just clean the plate. Now as a rule of, you know, just like a general rule when stamping, I always recommend that you clean the plate in between every single stamp. Now if you are been stamping for a very long time, I feel like for some people they may kind of push it a little. And I think there are certain designs where you possibly can do that. I'm not going to talk too much about that. In general, I think it would be just a smart idea to clean your plate every single time. And all I'm using is just 100% acetone. And the reason for that is because it gets a clean, quick clean off of the plate. I don't have to worry about any films or vitamins or anything that's sitting on top of the plate. Sometimes when you use um, acetones or polish removers rather that have like all the additives and stuff inside, it makes the pickup harder. I'm really loving the Illusion Flakies. Give me hearts if you guys already picked this up. Or if you're going to now after seeing this design. I really hope you guys do. I love playing with flakies and powders. I think it's just a nice alternative to um, glitter. And I really don't mess with glitter in general just because it's so hard to get off of your nail. 
But, you know, flakies, I just think, you know, they're a fun, nice alternative. There's so much iridescence to it. It looks magical. It's like perfect. Okay, so we're just going to do this one more time. Let's clean that. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I rock my cotton to the core, man. It's like filthy, filthy, dirty, dirty. Yeah, but I'll just keep rocking it. <laughs> So actually a stack like of cotton like this can kind of last me a long time. <laughs> I don't know if you guys are like that. Okay. So again, just put your straight up black. It's great. Take your stamper, roll. There's a design. Let's grab our last tip. Stamp your bats. Give me some thumbs up. Can you guys really see that fieriness? Through the camera, it actually looks a little holographic to me. But you guys can let me know what you think. Okay, so let me move some of these around. So what do you guys think the next step is going to be? So I stamp this. Now we're gonna use our smudge free top coat. Every time I stamp, I always use it. It's just so important to just protect your stamp, especially after after you work so hard. This is also really good too because it's a water-based top coat. So it doesn't, um, some top coats can really fog up, um, I guess the sheen of certain glitters or foils or anything. So you could really stamp over any of those mediums if you have a glitter if you have a powder um, if you have a foil you know something like that but the smudge free because it's a uh, water base too it just helps to keep the sheen so I would I would say you know maybe try it on whatever medium you're thinking about doing but you can pretty much stamp over anything Don't forget to cap your free edge. Okay, so let's let those dry. Now this is the part where I'm gonna let you be a little bit more creative. Um, depending on your preference, oh, I'm so sorry for that squeakiness. <laughs> um, I, in the original picture, I did put a matte top coat. And again, like I said, I was using gel. So um, let me go back to that image and see. I don't know if you can see how like the black is super matte and I actually put a matte top coat. Some of you, because of how shiny and beautiful the illusion flakies are, you might just want to keep it like this. Um, but actually I like putting on the matte too. So it really is your preference. I'll leave that up to you. Um, when I recreated this, I did put a matte top coat and actually I didn't even put any coat on these two nails but again you know I'm painting it on plastic um, so but yeah that's what it, the matte looks like and this is what the shiny looks like so give me hearts if you like the matte give me a thumbs up if you like the shiny more I want to see what you guys think Hearts for matte, thumbs up for shiny. But yep, this is our final. Look how fast that was. I love manicures like that. You know, sometimes we just don't have enough hours in the day, so yeah, it's perfect. It's created, a, you just did one side of your manicure, no problem. Let me see if I have any questions that I can answer right off the bat. Um, let's see, can you show what the flakies look like on black? Hmm. Ah, you know what? I will just do it on here, if you guys wanna see. Oftentimes when you use a, a background color, it will kinda of change up um, the look. But yeah, let's check it out. 
So I'm just gonna go ahead and use that same technique I just did. I don't know if you guys can see this, but the static is just bringing up the flakies up to the, I wish you guys could see it, it's kind of fun. Okay, so shake it on, I just tap it off, and there you go. Whew. So I just painted the black tip here. I'm just gonna put sticky base coat on top. And we're just gonna wait. Oop. Usually things like this iridescence, I feel like it looks better on black and I think maybe it's because you can really see the contrast. If you use white, it's just not as contrasting enough. That's just my take though. It looks way too shiny. Still. Yeah, it smells way too wet. So let's just give it a moment. Okay. Okay, I think that we should be good. Let me just kind of put my. I always try to kind of look for my. Um, <laughs> what is it? My thumbprint or my fingerprint? So let me just go ahead and push that in. I feel like it's gonna have more of a greenish tinge, but let's just see. And I think we have a picture of it on our site too. Mmm. It has like a beautiful, like fiery chameleon kind of look. Let's see. See that? So this is on no base right here, and this is over a black base. What do you guys think? Do you like it on the black? That's gorgeous. And then now you could totally stamp over this, or you could just leave it as is and just put a top coat over it. Yeah, that's beautiful hmm. I might want to do something with that now or maybe you could just stamp like a um, snakeskin pattern over this that would look gorgeous another Halloween idea look at that two how-to ideas in one video <laughs> okay well if there are if any um questions that i didn't get to today um just go continue and um, add your comments i'll be going through the comments um throughout the week so no worries on that but um i hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial actually now that i'm looking at the camera this looks really orangey red doesn't look like that in real life, but in the camera, it totally looks like that. And I think when the light just hits it just right, it just kind of has like an orangey. So beautiful, actually, it looks very um, autumn fall, kind of. I know that's the same thing, autumn fall, but it looks like something you could totally use. It looks kind of cozy now with the black base. But thanks so much for spending this time with me, you guys. Always a a pleasure and have a nice rest of the week and I will be seeing you guys soon. Bye!